I did a session at Blackbird and uh, I was doing it on tape, 16 track. And I hooked up the burl and locked the two machines and brought John McBride in. And I just hit play on the tape. And then I had uh, one part of the desk with the burls playing back and one part of the desk uh, with the tape playing back. And then I just scrambled it back and forth, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. I go, okay, which one's that? And he was like, I think that's a tape. I'm like, okay. Which one's that? That's a tape. <laughs> Which one's that? That's a burl. No, nope, that's a tape. <laughs> and uh, he was like, God damn it. And he was like, Chet. And he's like, you know. so then now he has, Blackbird has 80 channels, 80 inputs, 80 outputs in two burl motherships. And they move them around and people pick them up. And uh, every time we worked there, I used them on the, all the Chris Stapleton records. Um, I've used them on every single record that I've done in the last uh, six, seven years. Um, I just did a record uh, with Trey Anastasio from Fish, and he had just bought HDIOs, which is kind of funny. And I was like, okay, cool, that's great. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to use those. I'm just, I brought my own. And now they're like, oh, well, maybe we should uh, get uh, new and get some more. So um, it's just changed everything to me. It's more musical. It just, it just sounds more like music to me than digital has ever. Because to me, that was the problem. And, and I'm gonna go on a little metaphysical rant here if I just can. There's something about tape machines that those of you who have used them, you will know this. Maybe you don't know it, but you know it. And then there's something people who have never used a tape machine, and I'm talking about people who don't use a plug-in, you know, like a tape plug-in or whatever. But there's a thing about a tape machine that's hard to quantify, and that is that it is full of chaos. And our lives are, strangely, we're full of chaos. Everything in our lives are chaos. Everything is about, you know, you know, the butterfly effect thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, what that is. Tape machines are full of them because they got motors. They got belts sometimes. They got counters. They got, they got sprockets. They got, they got all this stuff. And then they have all they're this tape, piece of tape that's running across the head that's playing it back and or recording it. And that tape may not smooth pull evenly every time. And that tape may not run the same speed every time. And there's so much chaos in it that strangely, we as humans love. Why do you think people love vinyl? Well, some people love vinyl because, you know, they can hold it and they can look at it. But some people really love vinyl because they put the record on and they play it back and there's something about that Thing. And that's a deal with working in tape because that thing is not playing back the same speed all the time. It just can't. It can't do it. So there's a thing with tape and that thing, it's a, it's a weird deal. Like I said, it's a little metaphysical. Can I, can I take it from here? Hold Dance. on one second. Right. That thing is a thing that I don't feel it in real time with the burl, but I feel the musicality of it. And I don't know how to describe it. It's, there's no mumbo jumbo going on. It's just, I just feel like it's more musical. 